Johnson & Johnson is pledging to appeal after a judge in Oklahoma slapped the pharma giant with a half-billion-dollar fine for its role in the opioid crisis. Alexis Keenan is here with details. Well, we were just talking about this one yesterday in the lead-up. Alexis, do they have, uh, does J&J have a successful appeal coming up? So successful, I don't know. They definitely have a case on appeal. So this case in Oklahoma, the first trial to go against one of the opioid manufacturers, distributors, a lot more to come. This case was brought on a public nuisance theory. It's a theory, a legal theory, that's usually used for property cases. And J&J &J made that clear. They said that this is not the right avenue for this type of case, that you shouldn't try to solve a social problem through this legal theory. Um, a more common would be a, a negligence, uh, products liability cases. Um, but if you actually take this $572 million uh, judgment that came down, it was a bench trial in Oklahoma, so it was um, rendered by a judge, not a jury. Uh, if you take that and you extrapolate that out times, let's say, 48 states that currently have actions against J&J &J and other manufacturers and distributors, we get to a number that is $27 billion. So while there's a lot of arguments out there that J&J, &J, being as large as it is, can sustain this type of blow, even if it went out across all of these uh, almost 2,000 cases across the country, um, you know, it's still a really big number. What does this mean for other drug makers? So I think this settlement will cause the smaller manufacturers and distributors to push for settlements. And that's one of the things that the judge in the Ohio case has been trying to push really hard for in this multi-district litigation so that they could settle a swath of cases all at one time. The smaller players, they will have incentive here to settle if they think these the numbers are going to be this big. J&J, &J, it sounds like they are, uh, at least they've said that they plan on appealing this case, so they're still going to go to bat. Aren't the drugstores also uh, wrapped up into this as well? I'm sorry, the, the what? Drugstores? Oh, they are, absolutely. Walgreens, CVS, you have a, have a number of AGs across the country who have also tried to place blame on those uh, entities as well.